Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Will with Schedule Fly. And years ago, um, we used to have this video series on our blog called Will's Whiteboard. And I would like get up and write on my whiteboard and talk about our business and how we think and our philosophy and who we served, and why we served uh, independent restaurants and all this stuff. It was fun, but um, kind of ran its course and got, you know, busy with other stuff, mainly uh, creating content about our customers with our book and our videos and all that stuff. Well, this morning, something hit me. This, something happened. And I was like, you know, I think I'm going to, I'm going to record a little video message about this. It may start a, a new little series here, short and sweet episodes, but talking about just what we're seeing, why we do what we do, uh, what we're hearing from our customers, how we think here at Schedule Fly. I mean, we have a very unique business in so many ways. And I won't get into too many details about that on this episode, but um, well, I don't have a whiteboard anymore, so <laughs> I'm just going to do it like this. But here's what happened this morning. We have this pencil sharpener, right? Take your pencil, put it in there. And, uh, you know, it's been jammed. So then we get that fixed and the batteries run out. Well, you know, where are four AA batteries? Do we have batteries? Oh, we don't have batteries. Pencil sharpener's not working. Well, luckily I have something that solves that problem. And I keep it in my desk. It's always there. It always works. It's always reliable. There's no batteries. There's no parts. There's no unscrewing it to empty all the stuff. There's nothing getting stuck in it. Here it is. Nice, simple, German made. Works every time. Pencil goes in. There you go. Let me do it this way. You can see the stuff coming out. There you go. Sharp as can be. Now, what does this have to do with schedule fly? Well, I'll tell you because this is the same philosophy that we built this business with. And we've been doing this for, um, well, since 2007, <clears throat> April of 2007. So here we are just about 14 years in, but our philosophy has never changed, which is something that is simple, reliable. Nobody has to teach you how to use it. You know what to do and works every time. Um, it doesn't have a lot of other things added to it. Is it relying, relying on power batteries? You know, this thing just works, right? And it's sturdy. It's well made, thoughtfully made, um, and it's worked for as long as pencils have been around and it will work for as long as pencils are around, right? Now, I think about that, and then I think in relation to what most software businesses do, not just in our space, but really in any, any segment, um, which is keep adding and making things better, um, newer, well, think about that. Okay, so the electric pencil sharpener seems great, right? You just take your pencil, you stick it in, it's quick, it's easy, it's done. It's great until it's not, right? So when the batteries run out, you gotta find batteries. When it gets jammed, you gotta unscrew it and unjam it. You gotta clean it out. It's big, it's, it's you know, there's so many things about it that, that seem really good. Hey, this is easy. All I gotta do is stick a pencil in. I can do it quick and focus on other things. This seem that seems like an improvement on this, but the reality is, while it may be a little faster sometimes, um, when it goes down, <laughs> you got yourself a problem if you don't have something that's simple and easy, right? This I know is always going to work. I don't have to think about it. It's here. It sits in my desk. If I need to sharpen a pencil, I pull it out. I sharpen it, and I move on. I actually do the sharpening too. I thought about that because this isn't like done for me, right? Like I'm, I'm sitting here and it's a thoughtful process, not thoughtful. It's a deliberate process. I'm sitting here turning it, watching it sharpen. I get the satisfaction of pull it out. I'm like, yeah, I just sharpened that. That's kind of cool. 
I think about that with schedules too. You know, people will ask sometimes like about auto scheduling or something. And it just fascinates us because, you know, part of scheduling is being a participant in that, creating the, the perfect schedule, right? Um, pairing the right people with the right times and the right shifts and people that work well together and building this, this piece of art, really. It's not an algorithm or a piece of science. It takes some work, um, but it's satisfying when you're done. And it's worth the investment of time um, to spend a little time on it. So anyway, I don't know. I just thought about that this morning. This thing has never failed and it never will. Um, it's always there. It's inexpensive, <laughs> reliable, and uh, does its job well, and then gets out of the way, and I don't have to think about it anymore. So we hope schedule files like that for you. <laughs> uh, maybe more of these to come, we'll see. Uh, and maybe this will be a new series, I don't know. We like to try things around here and kick the tires and see you know, if it feels right and it works and it's uh, aligns with kind of how we like to do things. So uh, y'all stay tuned. Thanks for watching.